Welcome to Mass Pro S. The question before us here is s to the power of 3 minus s to the power of 2 equal to 4. x will be equal to what? It's a very simple challenge. By trial by error method, you can get x to be equal to 2. But we all know that the power of an exponent shows the number of the solution to the equation. So thus from this equation, we discovered that we're going to have three solutions to this equation so apart from two what are the other two solutions to this expression here so here we're going to walk you through by a step-by-step -step guide on how to solve for all the three rules to this equation so we take our selection yeah okay so the question again we have x to the power of three minus s to the power of two equal to four the number one thing we do here is just to send this four to this side of the equation. So we have here s to the power of three minus s to the power of two minus four equal to zero. Here yeah, we get the first root to this expression using the trial by error method. This is allowed in the world of mathematics. So the number we we'll put in here in place of x that will now make everything on the left hand side to be equal to the right hand side is two. So thus we now have here x is equal to 2. So thus, this will now give us here your x minus 2 is equal to 0. How do we get the second factor or the second root to this equation? We just have to use this factor here to divide this expression we have in here now by using the long division method. Okay, so we divide here. So we have here square root have here x to the power of 3 minus x squared then here we don't have x to the power of 1 so we have to introduce it just to complete the circle so we add here plus x then 0 of it okay so of course let me write 0 first so 0x then minus 4 all right now this is our dividend then the divisor is this so our divisor will be on this other side. Then we want to solve for our quotient, which is going to be the answer of top here. So we proceed. We use this s to divide this s to the power of 3. Now s dividing s to the power of 3, this will give us x to the power of 2. So we put the x to the power of 2 here. We use this to multiply everything here. So x squared times x will give us your x to the power of 3 x squared times minus 2 will give us minus 2x to the power of 2. As we all know, we subtract this from this and rule off. So this, this will leave because we're having plus x to the power of 3 minus s to the power of 3. So this leaves the system. Minus with times minus to give us plus here. So we're having minus x squared plus 2x squared. So this will give us your positive x square bring down this we have a plus zero x okay we go on with the procedure again use this s to divide this x square that will give us x so we have on this side plus x so we use this to multiply this again to so give us here x to the power of two then minus two x we root off again and we carry out our subtraction this and this will leave. So we have 0x plus 2x. So we have this to be 2x. We bring the last term here, which is minus 4. Okay. Then we use this to divide this. We are left with 2. So here we now have this to be your plus 2. So we use 2 to multiply everything here. So this will give us 2x minus 4 we rule off then we carry out our subtraction you discover that this we go with this and this we go with this so what we have here now we have our quotient to be this so of course it all means that if we multiply our x minus 2 and your x square plus x plus 2 this will give us what zero from this expression we have here now we have what we call the zero product rule which says that if you have 
your a dot b equal to zero this means that your a is equal to zero or your b equal to zero so if we apply this rule here then we now have our expression here to be your x minus two equal to zero or your x squared plus x plus two equal to zero we don't have problem with this so we solve this quadratically for two roots from this other side so those we now have let's take the sequel equation which is x plus x plus sorry x squared plus two is equals to zero here okay we use the quadratic formula we say that our x is equal to your minus b blocks minus the square root of b squared minus 4 a c all over 2. so what is our a b c so from here we look for our a our a is equal to the coefficient of x squared which is 1 the b is equal to also 1 c is equal to 2. so let's put these values into this so when i have x is equals to minus 1 plus minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 into 1 into 2 everything all over 2 okay sorry is a okay times a so dot 1 all right so from here we can simplify this your minus 1 plus minus the square root of one square will still give us one then four times one times two will give us eight everything all over two so if we go further to simplify this we have minus one plus minus the square root of minus seven all over two remember that our iota is the square root of minus one okay so if the square root of minus one is equal to our iota then we can bring out minus 1 from the system here. So thus, we now have this to be your minus 1 plus minus your iota into the square root of 7 all over 2. So we are having our x2, x2 and x3 from here. So what are the three roots or solution to this challenge? So we now have here, therefore, our x1 will solve to be 2 already. Then our x2 is equal to. Now we can simplify this. Now we can bring out two solutions from here. So the two solutions will take the first one, which is for the positive, and the second one, which is for the negative. So we have this to be 1 all over 2 bracket your iota into the square root of 7, then minus 1. And the third one, um, we have our x3 is equal to your minus 1 all over 2 bracket your 1, the plugs um, root, uh, sorry, iota root 7 plus back. So this is our answers to this exponential, to this third degree equation so we'll call this third degree equation